Lego is going woke. So announced they're going woke to mm. the woke mob. Wokers. Wokeness. Wokeness. The woke culture. Wokeness. Mm, that seems like the term woke or wokeness uh, is getting thrown around a lot by the right wing. Is been being thrown down uh, around a lot uh, for a long time now. At least the last couple of years. But um, the question keeps coming up. Do they actually know what it means? What, what's woke? I mean, what is woke? Do you, do you have any examples of wokeness or woke people or woke policies? Well, people decided to ask attendees at CPAC. Uh, in fact, it was Business Insider or Insider that asked these uh, right-wing attendees who love, again, throwing around the word woke. Uh, and, well, they came up with not just one answer, but several different answers, many of which were pretty incoherent. So uh, let's get into that. But first, to answer the question, what is woke? Uh, well, basically, it is signifying a general awareness that there are systems in this country of injustice or that perpetuate injustice against certain groups of people. Uh, that's pretty simple. When you put it in examples, uh, well, criminal justice system, everybody points to that. Uh, that's the best example of it because it tends to target black Americans far more often than their white peers. So you end up, you know, uh, for example, white people who commit the same crime as black people. Uh, well, it turns out they uh, uh, black people end up getting a harsher sentence or more often sent to prison for that same crime. Hmm. Interesting. So, again, that's an example there. Um, but it it's not just the criminal justice system. It's also happened in finance. Uh, you had redlining where, of course, banks would refuse to give credit uh, to black Americans for them to buy houses in places that are majority white areas. That's an illegal practice. And it had to get cracked down on. Uh, and then, of course, you have education, where you have inner city schools that continue to suffer from a lack of funding. And look, by the way, our entire education system right now suffers from a lack of funding, uh, mainly because uh, the conservatives, uh, Republicans in a lot of these red states specifically, have defunded their public schools. Now, if you think it's bad for, you know, uh, average, uh, uh, let's say, white students, uh, well... It's even worse for black students because their schools often are literally falling apart. And look, uh, it's also infrastructure that's affected. Majority black areas often suffer more from contaminated water, pollution. Um, you know, uh, there are things, uh, for example, more industry that's located in their areas that tend to pollute more, more trains that go through minority areas. Uh, since we've been having this issue with, you know, train derailments. In fact, there was another one that recently happened over the weekend in Ohio. Uh, yes, another Ohio train derailment from the same company, by the way, Norfolk Southern. And of course, uh, something that has also been noted, there's a lack of trees in majority African-American areas. So, yeah. Now, look, if you're aware of those things, guess what? That makes you woke or uh, awake. So basically, being woke just means that you know facts. Wow. So when you say you're against wokeness, what you're really saying is, well, you don't like facts. You're against facts. You're against reality. Now, conservatives, of course, they don't like that definition. Uh, so they made up their own. Well, they try to make up their own. <laughs> uh, in fact... Uh, they asked Johnny McKenty, the CEO of a right-wing dating app, whose ads declare that the other dating apps, they've gone woke. The wokers. Oh, my God. The, the dating apps, uh, they've gone woke. Uh, you, you actually have to put in pronouns uh, and use pronouns, and it's terrible. Okay. Um, now, he told Insider when he was asked, quote, that's tough. Let me think on it. Give me like two minutes to come up with something good. Wait, wait. If you're explicitly marketing your product as 
being against wokeness. Don't you think you ought to know what wokeness is? Do, why do you have to sit there and be like, you know, that's a good question. Nobody ever asked me that. Mm, I guess I'm just going to have to go back and think about it for a minute. Really? Really? <laughs> okay. Now, he did eventually settle on uh, calling it political correctness and said, quote, you know, we shouldn't be banning words. Wait, banning words? What, what words... What words are being banned by the wokers? What who's who's the woke people banning words? Of course, he couldn't answer that question, and then uh, cited the fact that oh look, man, don't ask me these questions. Okay, I'm only here to hawk my dating app so I can make money. Funny enough. Um, there are people out there trying to ban words. Uh, it just happens to be the right wing in many states banning pronouns, which happen to be words. Ironic. I, maybe as, as some of you point out, uh, you know the you know the word that they really want to say, the word that they're mad that you know people don't like. It happens to be the N word. <laughs> <laughs> we really just want to say the N-word, and that's why we hate wokeism. Because it, it, people get mad when we say that and be outwardly racist. Hmm. Uh, 58-year-old Daniel Francis was then asked by Insider for his opinion. Uh, what, what's the wokeism? Uh, here's what he said. Quote, they're trying to wake up what shouldn't be woken up. They're stirring the pot in the wrong direction. I didn't realize that you could stir something in the wrong direction. Okay. Uh, for Francis, he says that the word woke invokes the idea of a system of education that stokes division between groups. Quote, I think the woke side is kind of keeping the border open. I mean, that's what they want. Okay, number one, the border is not open. And what the left wants is a functional and fair system of immigration. I mean, one of the major policy positions the left is pushing is to push more or, or is to get more immigration judges down to the border to handle the massive backlog of immigration and asylum cases. That's one of the big problems with our uh, immigration system is because it, it, it is old, it is clunky, it is outdated, antiquated, and extremely slow. And it hasn't been fixed. And there is a reason that it hasn't been fixed. Because there are people out there that don't want to fix it. Because they don't want people to immigrate here if, if they're a certain color. Nigel Farage was also asked, um, about this, uh, and he said that wokeness meant a level of political correctness that is totally extraordinary. Funny. Funny uh, how he says that. Uh, yeah, well, po political correctness. Why don't we ask him what uh, he's trying to do, uh, what Ron DeSantis is trying to do in Florida with him trying to get political bloggers who write negative articles, opinion pieces about Ron DeSantis or members of his administration to get them to register with the state. That seems to be extraordinary levels of political correctness because essentially it would freeze out and chill people's speech, their opinion, to try to shut down these bloggers. That, by the way, that bill is so extreme even Newt frickin' Gingrich is like, oh, man, you better pull that one back. That's insane. When you got Newt Gingrich calling you out and saying that's extreme, you know you're extreme. Jesus Christ. Uh, now, Farage added, if we don't agree with someone, we try and ban them or cancel them. Okay, look, if we're talking about tax policy, then no, that's not the case. 
I disagree with a lot of people on tax policy. I may even disagree with some people on the left with tax policy, although I can't like come up with a, an idea on why or, or what that would be. Um, I don't see, I, I don't see, uh, you know, actual policy issues where we're going to cancel somebody or ban them. Now, there's one thing, though, that I do see is uh, if we're talking about classifying people as human, human beings with inalienable rights that deserve to live with respect and dignity, if you're against that, for example, if you're against equal justice for black people, for black Americans, or the existence of transgender people, then yes, I will, I will cancel your ass. Because what you're trying to do is to cancel transgender people from existence. Then yes. There's more. James Winship. 68, a Virginia man dressed up as George Washington, lovely, uh, and holding a flag he said that he carried in the mall on January 6th, told the insider that woke was substituted for political correctness because the term sounded too much like political corruptness, which again is uh, makes that literally no sense. What does that even, what does that even refer to? Joe Pinion, Newsmax host, who was a GOP nominee for Senate in New York in 2022, defined what he called the gospel of woke as the notion that all things in America are bad. Again, you're just literally making things up. But are there things in America that could be a lot better? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, for example, healthcare, housing, wages, paid leave, labor rights, child care. You can go on. Education. All these things, not great. And by the way, there's big agreement across the board, across all the political spectrum, that, uh, yeah, these things, we could definitely do a lot better. Uh, we could do a lot better on health care. Could do a lot better on, uh, you know, housing. Could do a lot better on the economy. Because they are currently bad. And by the way, the reason that they're bad is not because of wokeness. No, it's because right now we have a government and it doesn't matter what, which party seems to be in charge. They all generally tend to work for corporations that want to prevent us from having better things so that those corporations, the wealthy donors, can take more of our money, our tax money for themselves and stuff it in their pockets. Jackson Stallings, 21-year-old student, attending the conference, here's what he said wokeness was. So it is a combination of, quote, this transgenderism thing, leftism, and critical race theory. I think it's all directly connected, he said. That's certainly a lot of buzzwords, okay? But do you even know what you're talking about? Doesn't sound like it. Then uh, there's Susan Vanderberg, 65, a CPAC volunteer, saying, well, you, you know, I, I don't have a problem with anybody being gay or anything like that. Saying that she is a gay nephew. So I, she, I got no problem with the gay because I got I got the gay in my family. So uh, and I love and I love him. But then she, she went on to name Pride Month, transgender athletes competing in sports, drag queens and sex ed in schools as examples of wokeness run amok quote i'm not against anybody having those feelings and it's more accepted now than ever before but they're taking it to an extreme like what does she mean what what, what do you mean what do you mean extreme what what's what's extreme no i know i know what she means let me let me be the the interpreter here, the the chud interpreter. Okay, no, she means extreme by having it out in the open, having it in media and popular culture, having these people openly exist as they are, and not being hidden away somewhere. 
it look if you're upset that these groups are actually visible in the mainstream and that you can actually see them when you go outside or turn on your television well i got news for you you do have a problem with them if you want them out of sight and out of mind so that you don't have to be reminded that they exist you have a problem with them when their existence bothers you to such an extreme that you have to be like, oh, you know, <laughs> wokeness. Well, then, yeah, uh, that would mean that you are bigoted. And sure, that kind of bigotry doesn't seem as bad as actively seeking them out to harm them, at least in first glance. At the end of the day, though, it ends up in the same result. For them to functionally be erased from society. Because that's what they want. Yeah, you might be like, oh, no, I don't, I don't want them dead or anything like that. No, 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 no. But you want them gone. And by the way, that gives them cover. It gives cover to the people who would do those things, who would eliminate them in any uh, way possible. Finally, Robin Erickson and Mary Phelps, another uh, group of 68-year-old volunteers, uh, this is with the walk away movement, said this, everything's got to be hyphen this and hyphen that. Uh, said Phelps, arguing that America should be a melting pot and that people are hyper-focused on certain facets and using them to start conflict. Do you know who's doing that? Right wing's doing that. Remember, it, it's ironically their side that is fighting inclusion and to keep us separate and unequal instead of equal and united because if we were actually united, uh, well, we would be fighting against corporations and the wealthy donors who are screwing us and robbing us. And look, the reason uh, that these uh, culture warriors are doing this is because, again, there's a market for it. And most importantly, the aforementioned uh, reason, if we're fighting each other, it's easier for the donors and the corporations to pick our pockets. They wouldn't be able to divide us so well if they didn't have that propaganda that scares people into thinking that black people, and this is this is an older common trope, that oh the the black men they're they're gonna come they're gonna come rape our white women, not just see the Mexicans are coming for your jobs, coming to take your jobs, take your jobs, uh, and the trans people oh they're coming for your children they're gonna come for your children. By the way, that is a common thing that we saw here on CPAC, is that they were equating once again transgender people to pedophiles now the irony here about this whole thing is just it's, it's just super thick not only do people not do these people not understand what wokeness actually means but again if they did understand the realities of again <laughs> reality then yes they would too become aware and therefore woke now, that's the fear of all the well-paid culture warriors who push this anti-wokeness on everybody because ultimately, what they want, what their goal is, is to have people remain asleep and fighting each other. 